All right, boys. Ah, welcome to another episode. All right, I'm gonna talk about a little bit about like, uh, like if you're scared of something, it's usually because we don't understand it. Like, for example, I was always like super scared of spiders. Mm. And actually just did some research, did some Google, went to Wikipedia, Wikipedia and found out because yeah, I lived in my, I had like my grandma's basement. I was always uh, like, I had my office there and I was always working there and I was doing like my morning yoga and stretches and all that, meditation. And <laughs> during the summertime, I always had this spider, like very long legs spider coming in. Like at least like three or four a day, you know. So I decided to actually, <laughs> instead of being scared of them, I actually just tried to do a little bit of research. And turns out spiders are actually really gentle creatures, creatures and they like dark, dry places. So kind of like me, you know, I actually like being alone, being in like a like a high frequency state and just being by myself and trying to actually focus on what I want to do and try to attract the business I'm looking for. So spiders in a sense are kind of like, yeah, because they, they don't chase the flies, they attract them. By laying a web, by laying a foundation, they attract the flies. I know Terry long legs don't spin webs, but still, I had like, I had a lot of spiders there, man. I actually, I actually had a few, had a few, a few like, uh, few different like types of spider running around there. So I actually just did the research, found out there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just spiders and they don't like you neither, you know, so, and they don't, yeah, <laughs> they try to avoid you. So I would say like fear is an illusion. Like, for example, if you're like, if you're afraid to die, you know, let's, let's, let's take that for example. That's just because you don't understand it. Right. So as soon as you try actually reading up about it, uh, try to understand it, find a higher purpose, find something that gives you peace. Just do a little bit of research, try out psychedelics, find out why you're afraid of this, you know? So it's usually because we don't understand the things we're afraid of. Like, uh, we're afraid of failing, right? We're afraid of failing, you know? So what is failure? Not getting out of bed in the mornings? Or is it your bank business going bankrupt? Or is it losing your family? Or is it, I don't know, is it, yeah, drinking too much, like what is failure to you? So as soon as you stand, understand what failure means, then just do the things they, like do the opposite. Like if you're afraid to lose your money, then save your money, right? Save it for a rainy day because the year goes in seasons. It's four seasons and it's like, Summer, fall, winter, spring, you know? So it's always, I know not in that order, but, so winter always comes. Hard times come, and you gotta have, like, you gotta have a little bit of money saved up when the winter comes, you know? So if, it, if you gotta be able to have, like, at least a couple thousand dollars just to get, yeah, my roommate is taking a shower, <laughs> just to get, like, through the tough times, like for example, like when I was younger, <clears throat> I was making around like 30K a month or something and from various things, various side hustles, various businesses. And I was spending like 40K a month in things I didn't need. So down the line, uh, yeah, I didn't need like drugs, for girls, party, all that shit. So after a while, I had to sell my cars, I had to move out my penthouse and I had to move in with my girlfriend at the time to her parents' house for a while. So. That for me was failure, you know? That was a huge failure, but trials and tribulations, right? So instead of me uh, being afraid of failing and trying to keep up with this flashy lifestyle, uh, I instead, I just kept up with the flashy lifestyle because I didn't want everybody to see I was a failure, you know? So instead of doing that, I was either just being saving my money, 
putting it into smart investments, putting it in my back pocket and actually saving it for a rainy day, you know? And then that, when that rainy day came, I, did have, I, I had nothing. I had to sell all my shit. And to start from, I start all, all over again, you know? But it wasn't long until I picked myself up, but still, I lost all my shit. And that's not good for like my ego, like a guy in his early 20s. And after that, I actually just started to realize I was an asshole. And I was just chasing things that didn't matter. And like fast forwarding now a couple of years, I'm in like the best shape I've ever been. Uh, I can run endless, I can touch my toes. I have a good business, I'm a good business partner. I'm traveling the world, I'm currently staying in Kuala Lumpur, I moved from Iceland. I have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, I'm trying to seek a higher purpose right now. I'm starting my coaching, personal branding business, like high performance coach, because I've been through like a lot of trials and tribulations in my time. And this is, this is one of them, you know? So, like I said, fear is an illusion. And if you fear something that much, it will happen. You know, because you'd manifest it, right? So don't be like me, guys, and actually stay ahead of the curve. And if you need coaching, either in fitness, mindset, or in business, just hit me up. The link down in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cody out.